The Texas legislature reconvenes in two weeks and we'll see lots of changes, especially in the House, not just with a new speaker, but questions about the future of a prominent group of conservatives, the House Freedom Caucus. Plano Republican Jeff Leach decided to walk away from it this month, and he is in studio to tell us why. Good to see you again, man. Hey, good to see you. Why did you leave? Well, look, I, 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 my convictions, my conservative convictions and core beliefs, values haven't changed. I'm not compromising those. I'm still going to be a conservative um, advocate in the Texas House. But every member has to reassess their strategies, their tactics um, before every session. And look, Republicans this session have to unite, have to stay united because we are united right now and deliver on the promises that we made to our people, people investing in public education, delivering on property tax relief. Um, these are the things that are important to me and I believe the best way to do that, Jason, is by completely committing myself to working within the House Republican Caucus. With a new speaker coming in, some have wondered whether the Freedom Caucus is needed anymore. What do you say? Well, look, I mean, each individual member um, has to make that decision, and I respect those those uh, guys in, in the Freedom Caucus. They're my friends and colleagues. We're going to continue to work together. I will say this, that Representative Bonin, who's going to be our new speaker, um, is going to allow each and every member, the most conservative Republican and the most liberal Democrat, the opportunity not just to allow them but to empower them, Jason, to represent their districts. And um, that's something that we haven't had a long time in the Texas House for conservatives, and I believe that changes this session under Speaker Bonin. And what kind of reaction have you gotten from constituents? It's been overwhelmingly positive. I mean, the people of Plano, Allen, Richardson, and Dallas, and House District 67 that I'm, I'm so blessed to represent um, are, are counting on me to go to work, to roll up my sleeves on their behalf, and, and they, they, they trust that I'm making the right decision that will empower me uh, and allow me to advocate on their behalf. So it's been overwhelmingly positive. Well, let's talk about some of the advocacy. What kind of legislation do you want to focus on come January? Well, the, 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 this, this election was a wake-up call. Um, the legislators, Republicans and Democrats, in the House and the Senate know what our voters expect and demand and deserve. I've, I've mentioned a couple investing in public education, right. uh, providing property tax relief, uh, working on criminal justice reform, uh, protecting the rights of our Texans, uh, of, of Texans and keeping the economy strong. These are the things that Texans want. Um, they've spoken clearly, they've spoken loudly, um, especially to Republicans. And I'm convinced, Jason, that, uh, that if we deliver this session, I'm convinced we will deliver and I'm convinced that 2020 in the elections, the voters will respond accordingly. Is there a hot button issue going into this session, do you think, that might attract a lot of attention? Um, it, well, education is going to be the funding centerpiece. Funding of education? Funding of education, public education generally, of course, assessment and accountability, but funding school safety yeah. as well uh, will be a big issue, um, you know, more so than it has been in past sessions. We, we, have, to, uh, we have to deliver for, for Texas school children and our educators. Final seconds here, too. How do you expect the House to be different with Speaker Bonin, presumed Speaker Bonin. I, I think we're going to sense a new wave of, of commitment to public service, to allowing uh, the voice of the people of Texas to be heard loud and clear, not only on the floor of the Texas House, but in committee. Speaker Bonin is going to uh, keep us focused on the big issues that matter. And, and like I said many times this morning, um, to allow us to, to aggressively represent our constituents. And I think that's going to be a new, fresh uh, wave um, of leadership in the Texas House. All right, State Representative Jeff Leach, uh, Thank Plano you. Republican, thanks for coming in. We thanks, appreciate Jason. it.